Hi, for this video what I want to talk to you about is combinations. Combinations is an arrangement of any objects where order isn't important. So for this one, order is not important is the key to see whether it's combinations. If the order is important, then you need to watch the permutations video because that's what you would use when order is important is permutations. So what we have for this, I'm just going to show you an example of a combination, is if a menu offers the following sides, french fries, onion petals, steamed veggies, and sweet potato, if you are allowed two sides, if I picked french fries and veggies, that's the same thing as ordering veggies and french fries. So the order doesn't matter in which I pick them, I still get the same two sides. I still get french fries and veggies, whether I order the veggies first or the french fries first. Um, so in a case like this, the order is not important. So the formula that we use for combinations is um, NCR. This is right here. Let me just write it down. This right here is read as the number of combinations taken R at a time. Okay, so this is the number of combinations of n things taken r at a time. So for example, up above we had four items that we took two at a time. So the way that we could find out how many different combinations of two items from four that we could select, we would use this formula. A couple things that are important to know is, in case you haven't seen them before, the exclamation point is read as factorial. So this is n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial. And what that means is n factorial means start at the largest number. So if it was 10 factorial, we would start at 10. And then we would subtract 1 from it. So it would be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 all the way down to 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, this is just a shorthand way of writing out um, multiplication where you're multiplying by the starting value times one less than that all the way down to one. So I did the example down here to show you how we would do the scenario above where we had the four menu items taken two at a time. So we would plug in our values four factorial over four minus two factorial. So I just plugged them simply into the equation. Um, 2 factorial, and then I simplified it. This part right here, if I take 4 minus 2, this gives me 2 factorial. And 2 factorial means 2 times 1. So that's all I did was I, wrote, uh, I simplified this part here, and then I wrote it out as how you would multiply it. And then all you have to do is simplify. Um, so we can see that 2 times 2 is 4, so we could cancel this out. So all we're left with really is 3 times 2 times 1, which is just 3 times 2, which gives us 6. So there are six different combinations of ordering two things out of these four choices up here. So remember, if order is not important, use the combinations formula. If order is important, then check out the permutations video that I have and watch how to find permutations. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know. And I promise I will do more examples with combinations that are more complex than the one I covered here.